Labor for Entrepreneurship, our famous guest this evening, Professor Friedrich Bergmann. Professor Bergmann is well known for a concept that he calls new work. You were the pioneer in seeing that there's, there will be mass unemployment and you have been deliberating on a system, let's call it new economy, where the system of work is thought in a different way. Professor Bergman, maybe you can give us a summary of your concept of new work, new economy. Right. <coughs> the connection between the idea of new work and the development of new technologies was very, very close from the beginning. And the essence of new work from the very beginning was the idea that it should become possible for people to come close to doing some work, not the only work, but some work that they seriously, really want to do. And the uh, connection was that new technologies would make this possible, to rise up, to ascend, to move upwards towards that level. So from the very beginning, the idea was either or. And in fact, the first center for new work opened in Flint, Michigan, in the year 1982, and the opening sentence on the brochure, but also big in big letters over the door, was a wave, a tsunami wave, comes towards us of new technologies, and either or, these new technologies will either drown us, or if we are imaginative and intelligent, we can ride this wave and I rise see. up to something, like I said, I think that higher than we had ever been before. So the technologies are either or. Either they will bring us to something that will be very serious, very difficult, like a split between people who no longer have work and other people who do have work, or intelligently use the technologies can help us to reach a level that is higher than anything in culture that had been achieved before. Could you give us some details about new technologies that you are talking about? Right. Uh, one of the key technologies, uh, some years ago was still very controversial. In fact, many people smiled and some people thought I was making up things. It's called the fabricator. It has other names. People talk about rapid prototyping. People talk about three-dimensional printing. Uh, one thing to say right at the beginning is, in the last few years, this idea has come home, has come into its own. And I work very closely with a friend who is a friend of both of us, the professor Andreas Gebhardt in Aachen. And just to give people the flavor, he uses the fabricator as the basis of an enterprise, of a business that he has developed, and that is a very successful business at this point. Uh, he just recently came to Detroit to create a franchise of that business, and that business is wholly organized around the fabricator. Now, the fabricator, in essence, is a machine that does not just print on paper, but it lays down very thin, very, very thin, but very precise layers. And with this fabricator, you can make three-dimensional things. And just to give this idea very quickly, uh, one of the things you can do with a fabricator is you can make spare parts for almost anything. You can make spare parts for cars, but you can also make spare parts for refrigerators. In fact, one sentence that Gephardt likes to use, he says, he wants to get to the point where refrigerators will have an eternal life. Another aspect of the fabricator is that one no longer needs huge factories to produce the parts, either for a car or for a refrigerator or for a television or for whatever. Because this fabricator can produce all these parts. Exactly. And it's one machine that can produce these parts. It's not a mile long of an assembly line that produces these parts. And so one way to look at the fabricator, in addition to the spare parts idea, is that you could say 
the all powerfulness of the big companies is brought into place or is balanced or is beginning to subside because you don't need a big factory anymore. Not so much capital, not so exactly. much capital expenditure. No, there's a close connection between yes. us. A good idea, yeah. a carefully thought out idea and a fabricator is yeah. enough to create a new product without huge capital and without a very big factory. But it sounds as if this fabricator is a very expensive machine. That is an excellent question. And it is not true. Uh, at this point, you can get some kind of fabricator, but one of the most important things is that there are many different kinds. There are many companies that at this point create fabricators, and you can get a fabricator for 2,000 euros. In fact, it's possible to make your fabricator. There are you know, sort of manuals in the internet, and you can make your own oh, yes. out of parts. Uh, very, there are of course more, more fancy ones, but there is no fabricator that costs a million, you know, at most 300, 400,000. Professor Gebhardt even has uh, put it in a, uh, what he calls a fabricator cafe, that you sit in a cafe and can use the fabricator as if you use a copying machine. Exactly, you know, and uh, his own business is a service providing business, he uses the fabricator for other people, but other people can sit in, like in an internet cafe, and instead of using a computer, they can play with the fabricator and invent new products. So it means that's a technology everybody can use, not like these computer kind of factories that you have expensive machines that are really very difficult to deal with and to maintain, but this is a, a, a something that everybody can deal with. I would say yes, but, I mean, there are some things one has to know and one has to be trained to understand, to be able to use a fabricator, but it's very interesting that some of the work that goes into using a fabricator is very simple, sort of is like using sandpaper. So unskilled people, even handicapped people, can polish a product and to give it final shape. So there is also work for those people. But to program the fabricator, you have to know what you're doing. All right. So that's not for everybody. But your idea or your vision is that this kind of technology is capable of providing lots of people with an instrument that they can use and so it's a basis for you for new work. Exactly. I mean, the, the simple way of summarizing it is that with a fabricator, you can create many new businesses, and many medium-sized or small businesses. It's like a rabbit. Yeah, it will have many, many young ones. And that is one step towards a better arrangement with work and the rise up to a different economy. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that contribution. Thank you very much. No.